Casey Live MMA Fighting with Julia Budd, who will be facing the challenger, Chris Cyborg, in just a couple of days at the Forum in Inglewood, California. How are you doing, Miss Budd? I'm, I'm doing fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> Um, how, how's, how's fight week going? This isn't a normal fight week for you. No, it's a little different, but it's been amazing. You know, it's been great. What's, what's been different about it? Um, more attention, more eyes on this fight. This fight is, feels like it's got the world's attention. And, um, yeah, it just feels really cool. <laughs> is that, is that tension? Is this a good thing? Is this something like when you're, you know, before you go to sleep, you're like... Oh, I, I can't sleep or like this. I don't know. Is this is just is this something you've been waiting for, craving for? Um, it's just I'm just going with the flow. Um, it's something that I'm prepared for. I knew how big this fight was when we asked for it and when um, she signed with Bellator and that this fight was going to happen. So I've just been welcoming it. It's all great. It's all great to me. It's all fuel. Now, I think the answer is obvious, but is this the biggest fight of your professional career? I think so. You know, with um, I, I totally respect Chris and what she's done in the sport, and um, I feel like it's a big fight, and it's uh, definitely one of the biggest. I feel like the Marlos fight was a really big one as well, and um, it was uh, it was important in my career at the time. But this one feels big. Can you talk about the moment, or how, how did the actual fight happen? Like, did you get a call? Did you know the cyborg come over first, and then the fight was offered? Like, how, how did the whole process to right here happen? Um, I will. She signed. We got a call that she was signing, um, and then we got a call that this was the fight to make, and that they wanted to do this fight in January. And uh, we were like, absolutely. It doesn't make sense for her to fight anyone else. She's definitely the number one contender in Bellator right now, and I'm the champion. And I want and I want the toughest fights. I want the I want the best in the world. I don't want to wait, sit around and wait, or you know, and say something happens. This is a wild sport, um, and not, that this fight not pan out. That was really important to me. So. Um, I feel so uh, blessed, excited, um, ready for this night. Do you, did you need this fight, you feel like, for a legacy? Or, I mean, as, I mean, as a professional athlete, maybe it's just like, she's just an opponent, but like, maybe like, I don't know, am I, am I, do you, you know what I'm saying? Like, do you need yeah, this fight I, for I, to I, establish a, a you as like, not just a great featherweight, but like an all time great? I think so. I think so. Um, again, people will say what they want to say, and whether I make it in their cool books or not, oh well. <laughs> you know, but at the end of the day, to me, this is so important for my career. Now, how do you think, how, how, I'm sure you've been watching Cyborg fight for years. Yeah. How, how do you, has she improved? Is there a point where like, oh, she's getting better and better, or do you think, oh, this fight is pretty much who she is? Um, no, I think that she's, I prepared for the toughest Chris Cyborg there is. So I watched all of her, you know, fantastic fights the ones that I we saw things that we could see things her losses you name it but I prepared to face the best Chris Cyborg and that's what I'm prepared to do on Saturday how about yourself how are you improving after all these years now you mean You've been doing this for a while. I mean, yeah. like, how, how do you get better each day, each fight? It's just martial arts. You're always evolving. You got to, as a champion, you got to. If you're in the sport and you're competing at this level, you got to constantly approach it from almost like a beginner mindset of like, oh, okay, I'm going in there to learn, and and every day that hunger to get in there and learn something new and and work on your skills is what's driven me to be the very best that I can be. Now, um, when you were in Invicta, uh, uh, you, you and Cyborg weren't in Invicta at the same time, right? We were. Oh, we you were. were? Yeah, we were. And um, the fight, uh, we got offered the fight in 2013 against her, but it was on a couple weeks' notice because one of the girls pulled out, her opponent pulled out. So it was kind of like, a, we were like, no, we're not going to fight on two weeks' notice. But, um, yeah, yeah, we're not going to fight on two okay. weeks' notice. <laughs> it's going to happen when it's, you know, when there's a buildup and when it's that, that, Build up is there. Well, and I and you respect Cyborg's skill said that yeah. you know you have to be fully prepared. I assume. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And um, this was it. This was right. And then I signed with Bellator. So she stayed with with Invicta. I signed with Bellator because when Scott um, came into the promotion, it was like absolutely this is a no brainer. So now we're here. Okay. Now something a little bit not quite fight related, but I, I I've seen your Instagram. Yeah. How many abs do you have? Because I, I think you have about you have about a thirty pack. I think. I got four. Four, four, good, ones. four good ones. Four okay. Good ones. I know. I've seen some four photos. You have you, you yeah. have like a twelve pack. Yeah. I, just can you give me a basic? What's your basic workout routine? Maybe over a couple of days. Yeah. Just um, basically cardio, Pilates. I do a lot of Pilates. I do strength training. Um, I do boxing, wrestling, uh, Muay Thai. But over say in a day, I do 
three of those things. So I'd, I'd do Pilates, sparring, and then uh, strength training at night or a run. So that's my daily routine. And you just pick out a couple of pizzas and ice cream at night? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then I just, yeah, <laughs> dive into that. No, but I've got a really clean diet. So, yeah, yeah. Well, have fun Saturday and good luck. Thank you.